Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, I got a Pokemon 20 Genesect. Of course, this is the Pokemon 20 for November of 2016, the second to last one. Can you believe it? It's been almost a full year of Pokemon 20s, and I haven't missed one, but this one was a very close call. We went to Miami on the 1st, and they come out the 1st of the month, and it was a weekend or no, actually, it wasn't a weekend. It was a Tuesday, I think uh, it was a weekday and they didn't get it. OK, so it's like, oh, my gosh, we had to um, scramble because being that it's a GameStop stop exclusive, most stores probably only get a couple of them, actually. And they tend to get snatched up by collectors. And sometimes you luck out and they'll get some later and you might be able to find one. But I was particularly worried because I know a lot of people really like this Pokemon. And this is going to be definitely one of the harder ones to get. If you look at the original Mew that came out from GameStop in January, that one like impossible to find now so it's like really good to get the GameStop exclusive ones first because you're probably not gonna be able to get a chance later you know so anyway we we went no luck I did open up the card set for the card set for Genesect if you look back at my queue just a little bit and I'm still working on the ball the figure and ball set but this is the main thing I want to ask it was the plush out of all of them this is like the must-have man for the month because this is such a cool Pokemon so anyway um, I got one and I am so happy I love this so much um, really really nice looking at the packaging you can see this is the typical pokemon 20 packaging which is absolutely beautiful and so luggage case all protect this one actually seems a little more firm which i really like it's not too squished or anything so that's really good um on the side here just talk about genesect a little bit has some stuff in feed for languages you can check it out really cool action shot on the back here, of course, it talks about the Pokemon 20 uh, trainer's journey never ends. Each generation befriends a new Pokemon and battles new dangers. Explore the world of Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so it's quite exciting. Um, basically, Genesec has a powerful cannon on his back. Yeah, so it's a result of Team Plasma's meddling. Bad Team Plasma. And, of course, this mythical Pokemon is 300 million years old. Wow. I guess this guy lives a long time. So, um, very cool. Um and let's go ahead and open this up and see what this bad boy looks like. I am so excited, man. When I first heard that I had one of these coming to me yesterday, I got it like really late, like like four or five in the morning. And um, I was so excited. It was like a big, big thing for me because I was sincerely worried this would be the one, the one for the year that I missed. Um, so anyway, very cool. This is uh, put in with this little tabbies, okay? So very carefully, I'm gonna cut this bad boy out. There we go. Be careful when you do this not to cut the little plushy fur. And let's see, we got two more to go here, it looks like. One for the feet and one for the back foot. Sorry for the weird cutting angle here, guys. All right, and there is Genesect. Oh my God, looking so cool, man. I love the way they did these Pokemon toys. At first, I'll admit, I wasn't completely sold on the, the shininess of them. But it's really grown on me now, and every month I always look forward to the cool, shiny, satiny look to these Pokemon. Um, Genesect from the front, you can see, is very detailed, actually. The GameStop ones tend to be some of the more, like, detailed ones of the year. Um, very cool little defined limbs. There's a little firmness here in the feet. He's not really standable, I doubt. You see, I was like, there's no way this guy's going to stand. He's way too top-heavy with the gun, the cannon. Um, but just a really super cute plushie. Loving the little, uh, little almost like a bee stripe here. Um, cool little arms that are bendable, actually, which are really cool. A lot of them don't have much articulation, but you can actually bend this. See how cool that is? That's awesome. And then um, checking out the eyes, we have like cool little red, little white dot, lots of little detail for a little, looks like a little bug mouth, I guess. And then up here, of course, there's a little details on the hood and the head and just a very, very cool cannon to it with a nice little gold part too. So just really cool, man. This is like, this is like my favorite one so far for the year, I think. I'm Well, Dark Rider is good, too. Uh, man, it's really tough. At the end of the year, once I see Meloetta, I'll do my year wrap-up. Let me know if you have a favorite Pokemon 20 for the year. But you guys have to admit, this is super duper cute. Oh, my gosh. What an amazing Pokemon.
Um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you have any questions about Genesect, let me know down here below. And of course, you know, Pokemon Sun and Moon is almost out. It's just like weeks away or less. So um, be sure and be ready to purchase that right away. I'm sure it's going to sell out fast. I'm sure stores will get a good chunk of it. But these Pokemon games, especially the collector's version, if you're going for the two game and book version or any of the other special versions, they're going to move fast, guys. So it's good to snatch them on day one if you can. Um, for me, I have the two, the, the sun and moon together with the, the book coming. It's like a collector's box set. And I'll have that and I'll review that the same day it comes out or as soon as FedEx drops it off. So um, that should be really cool. And of course, if you haven't seen, I did do a video unboxing and a upgrade video for the Pokemon Sun and Moon 3DS. Yes, so you can check out that video. And those, I have seen those around in a few of the Toys R Us's and different stores. So there's still probably a chance to get that Pokemon new 3DS if that's something that is on your in your budget and something you want it for your Pokemon collection. So anyway, guys, um, be sure and enter to win. Of course, I'm going to be giving away a Pokemon 20 in my current giveaway, the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. You can check out that video if you look back in the queue. The deadline for that is coming up. And also, I haven't really been talking about it quite as much. I've been kind of seeing people to say enter me on their own, actually. But of course, if you're new to this channel, um, if you say enter me in this video, you get your name in the hat for a chance to win some cool stuff in that 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So check out the details on that, guys. Be sure and check out Tux Reviews, my review channel. Be sure and check out Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter. Tux Reviews on Instagram and Twitter for some cool behind-the-scenes photos. And, of course, Gamer Tux, my beta channel. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.